welcome back to the channel. Today we've got the 2024 M4 competition. It is in Toronto Red, which is a rare spec for us. It's the G82 chassis. And this is one of the first ones to arrive with sort of a new edict. So we'll go over some of the changes that we have in standard ordering for the store. But we haven't ordered the Toronto Red M4 since the first model year where I had specced a Toronto Red with the buckets manual transmission, and I think that was basically it. And somehow I ended up getting free laser lights back then. Let's go over this particular build. So we have the optional laser lights. Again, this is the last model year you'll be able to get lasers on either the M3 or M4, or any BMW in the US market for that matter. I'll see it has a shadow line lights as well. You can see evidence of the parking assistance package. You can see the camera right there in the middle, but Otherwise, no other options up front. All right, so we'll move to the side here. We have the style 825M wheels. They are the bicolor wheels, which contrast very nicely, sort of a silver finish to the wheel. It goes well with the Toronto Red. We also have the M compound red coppers in black. Of course, it could go with red, but I don't know if it's gonna be the same color as the exterior paint or the standard blue calipers. I think the black works well with the interior theme, which we'll get over to in a minute. We also, when the tire lighter here, we have the Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's. We can take in Toronto Red. Not an extremely deep red, and it does have a little bit of orange hue to it in sunlight. If you want to go with a richer red, you can go with individual Rosso Corsa we've had on the i4 as well as the m4 years ago so you see out back we also have the gurney flap in high gloss black m4 competition badging in high gloss black our faux diffuser and our very large exhaust tips standard carbon fiber roof and for whatever reason i'd say red is not a hugely popular color at least with our store might be the same at other dealerships, but it's rare to get a red vehicle, especially an M car these days, for whatever reason, even though red was an extremely popular color, going back to the E30, and the rot colors you can get. Of course, also had a 50th anniversary BMW M3 in Cinnabar rot, which is, again, coming soon on another spec vehicle or high gloss black mirror caps so opening up we have the black extended merino leather again no cost option our standard m sport seats m4 badging there perforated i think really well bolstered and obviously a very comfortable seat as well but for my preference i'm going for carbon buckets for m4 badging on the door sill as well so gone is the competition all right, so in front of me, the standard M steering wheel with our blue and red stitching. You notice that we don't have the carbon fiber shift pedals nor interior trim. So this is what you get. Standard, basically three and four series shift paddles. You can opt for M performance carbon fiber shift paddles, but they're going to look just like this, just in carbon fiber. In front of me, I drive eight instrument panel, heads up display, and our I drive eight, and again, the M4 or the M3 won't be getting iDrive 8.5, the M version of that, probably until the LCI for next year, so model year 25. And our aluminum rhombosil anthracite, which is a standard trim, basically, no cost. So you can sense a theme here. Our embossed M emblem gear selector with stitching as well. All right, let's go over pricing. So starting price, the M4 comp. 82,200 bucks. Toronto Red Metallic adds another 650. The leather is standard. Parking assistance package for 700. Exec package for 1550. Notice we don't have the M Drive Professional. We do have shadow line lights for 300. 1,000 for the lasers. And those are all the options on this particular vehicle, other than the floating hubcap. So all told, MSRP of 87,560 bucks. So gone are getting basically the M Drive Professional and carbon fiber trim, so it's roughly $2,000 in quote-unquote savings. Let's go take a look at the back seat and cargo area and under the hood. 
All right, so note here on the side, you have black Alcantara, though I think in the configurator it's a lot more gray. You know, it does look a little bit gray here on film or video. Then you got your access point here, standard M seat belts as well. All right, so view from the back seat. And we've got climate control zone in the back, but no USB-C ports. I'd say new room legroom is pretty generous. But one issue you may find is headroom is a little bit compromised. Uh, I'd say maybe 5, 9 and below will be fairly comfortable. 5, 11, I'm hitting the top of the roof liner or headliner. In the view of that lovely carbon fiber roof contrasts nicely with the Toronto red metallic. All right, so make it way to the back again. No kick to open, so you have to open up the trunk with the lift gate there, little lever. And that's a cargo room, you know, not too bad for a coupe. You can also fold down those rear seats. No extra storage underneath there. But exact package means powered, so you can just press that button and it closes back up. make our way to the front and pop the hood and wrap this up so under the hood is the s58 inline six three liter twin turbo engine 503 horsepower 469 torques so very great engine close the hood there that's it for a quick tour around the Toronto Red M4 Comp, and we'll see you at the next video.